killed all of them. I know you killed all of them. All two of them, Doc. That's what you think. So, Doctor in? Great. We'll find our way back. You Don't worry about it. You can't go in there. He said not to disturb him. We'll just be a minute. Excuse me. Hello, Doc. What can I do for you, Detective? You can start by telling us what the hell kind of game you're playing. I have no clue what you're talking about. You bought 10 sets of rosary beads, two of which ended up on murder victims. Are you suggesting I put them there? Murder victims that we consulted you about, yet you didn't mention those rosary beads, did you? Hundreds of thousands of people buy rosary beads. Where were you between the hours of 6 to 9 a.m. and 3 to 5 p.m. Thursday? Well, most likely I was at home. I uh, keep very regular hours. Do me a favor, Doc. Take your hands out of your pockets, please. Right now. Step over there. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Do you have any haircuts now, Doc? It's not what you think it is. You're under arrest, you sick son of a bitch. Hands behind your back. For the murders of Sarah Montgomery. Janine, Montgomery, call right Solomon and Ruben. Silent. Tell them Anything I need their best say, criminal maybe defense maybe attorney. Maybe you in a court of law. Client's looking at two counts of murder. He's innocent. Oh, really? Well, great. Then you won't mind him answering a few questions for us so we can clear up all the confusion. My client is a sick man, detective. You think? If he's innocent, he should be able to give us an alibi. My client is suffering from extreme psychiatric distress brought on by his arrest at his place of work. Or maybe it was brought on by killing two innocent young women. He's fearful and depressed, and I fear for his safety. I wonder how fearful and depressed Sarah and Mary Ann were before he killed them. You want to talk about that, Doc? If you forgive others, they're Dr. sinned Walker against you. Dr. Walker, do not say another word. Your heavenly father will also forgive you. Dr. Walker! Dr. Walker! Hey! Hey! Stop! Dr. Walker! Hey! Stop! Stop! Come on! Get him a bus. Heavenly father, forgive them their trespasses! Shut up. Clearly faking it. Look, I'd be happy to encourage my client to answer your questions, but he clearly doesn't have the mental capacity to sit through an interrogation. I'd like him evaluated by professional. You really think he's going to get out of these charges he's facing by pretending to be crazy? I think he won't face any charges because everything you have is circumstantial. Well, we'll see about that. Fine. Get him to Belhaven Psychiatric or I will file a 730 with the judge. Thank you. He knew what he was doing. He planned those murders. What? The hairs we got from his office, they don't match either of our victims. <sighs> Vengeance is mine. I will repay the faithless with everlasting hey, darkness. You're gonna pay, all right. Shut your mouth. Sir, you're gonna hurt yourself. You'll be fine. If your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they're thirsty, give them a I'm drink. I'm gonna get security. Thank you. Right, knock it off already. He's buying your crap. I killed all of them. I know you killed all of them. All two of them, Doc. That's what you think. Well, how many were there, Doc? Let's go, Dr. Walker. Wait a minute. How many were there? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What the hell are you doing? Like, no how long will the wicked triumph? How many were there, Doc? How long will the wicked triumph? 